Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Smurf Cat. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Smurf Cat, let's begin with the eyes. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's just going to curve up and then down. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes down and up for the eye. Next, I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to draw the other eye. So I'll begin by making a curve line right here. Then I'll make another line that just kind of curves in and around. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes up and down, and then down and up. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to come up and down, and then down and then up. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down for the nose. And then I'm going to bring this line in. I'll make a little curve here, and then a little curve here for the nostrils. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that curves out and up. Then I'm going to make a little line across, and a little line down. I'm also going to go ahead and color in this part of the nose here. I'm going to draw a little line up. Now starting here, I'm going to make the cheeks. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come out. It's going to go over and up. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out. It's going to come up and curve around. Right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go down and over. And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down and then up here. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out at an angle. I want to make a little bit of a broken line right across to here. And then I'm going to bring this line down and over. Now starting here, I'm going to draw an oval shape that's going to come out. It's going to go around and then down to here. And then I'm going to make another shape that's going to come out and up. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to go out and bring it up. I'm going to curve this line up. We're going to come right up here to a point, And then we're going to connect it to here. Then I'm going to make a little line that curves down here. And then a little line that's going to curve right around here, too. Now, right inside the eyes, I'm going to draw a little line down here. And then I'm going to make a little line that's just going to come down and then back here. Now, let's work on the body. Starting here, I'm going to make two little lines that come down for the neck. I'm going to leave a little space and I'll make lines going to come down and in for the chest. And then another one's just going to come down. We're going to come across and then back up here for the body. For this arm, I'm going to draw a little line that curves down for the shoulder. I'm going to bring this line down, and we're going to come right to here, kind of curve in. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line down, 
Then we're going to curve it back up. Bring this line over. I'm going to come down, up, and in. And then I'm going to bring it up here. Next, over here, I'm going to bring this line down. Bring it down here. And then I'm going to bring this line down. Right here, I'm going to make lines comes out and in. I'm going to make lines going to curve around for a finger. Another one right here. And then one more right here. Now for the pants, I'm just going to make kind of like a little zigzag pointed line that comes all the way around. And then I'm going to bring it up. Next, I'll bring a line down here. Next, I'm bringing a line that's going to come down and then in like this. Then I'm going to bring this up and then down. Then I want to curve this line across for the foot. We'll bring this line up and then curve it around here for the back. Next, I'll bring a line down here. Next, I'll bring a line down. I'll bring this out here. We'll bring a line down. And then a curve here. I want to curve this line up, over, and then right to here. So it looks like he's walking. And then right here, let's add a little line that comes out for the tail. Next, starting here, I'm going to make two lines that come up for a little strap. And then I'm going to make some partial circles on here so it kind of looks like he's carrying like some sort of raspberry or a blackberry or something. So we're just going to add some different partial circles all the way around there. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and then back in. And then it's going to go a little bit farther here. I'm going to go down and then bring it back into here. Next, I'm going to bring this out and in, out and in, and I'm going to do this a few more times. Just kind of make it look like he's got a little sprig of like a pine needle or something back there. Now for the snail, I'm going to draw a line that comes down here. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve around here. Connect them right like this. Then I'll draw a little line that's going to curve up. And then a circle shape that's going to come down here. And then it's just going to kind of spiral around. And then it's just going to curve here. Next, I'm going to make a long line out here for an eye, and then a long line here. And then a little broken line here. Next, I'm going to make some broken lines right around here. Now, I just want to add some details to our Smurf cat. So, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make some long broken lines that are kind of coming out of the center of our mushroom here for our Smurf cat. So, we're just going to kind of make these long broken lines right along here. I'm going to make some little broken lines that come right along here. And then I'm going to make some little curve shapes right up here. I'll make a few little lines in here. And then I'll add a few little whiskers that are coming down 
from our Smurf cat. I'll make a little line right here. And then I'll make some kind of little broken lines coming right across the pants here. And we'll do that on both of these. Definitely make sure they're going on the shoes as well. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Smurf cap. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.